Staring at his bride from day one, Bill Beagle knew it was a match. But the Institute for Justice says about 3,000 people die each year because they can't find their match. So instead of wedding gifts, the couple traded that registry for another. Not one wedding gift, nothing. Our wedding gift is the gift of life. Our wedding registry is a bone marrow registry. Make a contribution, enter your email, help make the world a better place. As the traditional festivities and ceremony went on, Is this good? Right next to it all was a table for a gift of life bone marrow registry. Beagle is a group's board chairman. The organization runs a registry to help those fighting leukemia, lymphoma, or other types of blood cancer find their life-saving bone marrow match. Looking for a matching donor was like looking for a needle in a haystack. That's how it all started for the groom, who says some 20 years ago, he personally traveled to Russia and tested more than 500 people trying to find a match for his friend, Jay Feinberg. It just takes literally two minutes of your time. Feinberg ended up founding the gift of life after he got his bone marrow match and a transplant 21 years ago. The need's huge, especially in underserved communities, Pacific Islanders, African Americans. Becoming a donor is now as easy as a simple cheek swab, and you're in the registry for life. And the last time these guests did this at a wedding... At a wedding? Never. This is a first. <laughs> we hope to save many, many lives. Now, entering the registry doesn't mean you have to become a donor. If you match a patient needing a transplant, you'll be thoroughly tested to make sure you really are a match. The donation itself is usually a small surgical outpatient procedure to take marrow from the top of your pelvis. You'll have pain for a couple of days, but it's a small act that could save a life. You bet. Big deal. Wow. What Thank a great you, idea. Yeah, isn't that a great idea? Yeah. It's really selfless. It's nice. It's Perfect. Nice.